Maybe he can come back one day too, even though he's dead. Spoiler. Probably cut that out, guys. <laughs> Probably cut that bit out. I lost it. Hi, IMDB. This is Scott Adkins, and this is me in three. Number one, gotta go with Yuri Boyka from the Undisputed franchise. Yuri Boyka is a Russian prison fighter incarcerated, so he has to do these underground prison fights. In Undisputed 2, Boyka is the bad guy. You were a great champion, I know, long time ago. And Michael Jai White is a boxer and he has to face my character who's a mixed martial artist. But because Boyka was the martial artist, the director and myself, we wanted to make sure that we instilled a sense of honor into Boyka. So even though he's doing some bad things for the wrong reasons, he always had a strong sense of honor about him. I am the best fighter in the world. I do not need your junky friend to help me win. And I think that's why we were able to take the character into Undisputed 3 and Undisputed 4 and have him as the good guy or, you know, the anti-hero. So you came all this way to save me? I come here to save myself. He is a deep and complex character. And quite honestly, I would love to do another Boyka movie because I think there's, there's more to tell about his character and especially his past, which is pretty interesting. And people don't know about it yet, but I do. Number two, I will go with Mike Fallon from Accident Man and Accident Man 2, Hitman's Holiday. The reason I want to talk about this character is because he's my personal favorite. When I was growing up, I got the comic book, Accident Man, a British comic book written by Pat Mills, Tony Skinner. I always thought it would make a great movie and I secretly harbored the desire to be the guy that could one day play Mike Fallon and bring the Accident Man to the screen. I don't just fight people anymore. I f destroy them. He's just a great, fun character in a world of assassins and it was a turning point in my career because I played the straight-laced, serious action hero plenty of times at this point. And I just wanted to bring a different side of my personality to the screen, which was, you know, a more comedic side, a more fun side. This is how you separate the men from the boys. Three, two, one. If you want a British, madcap, zany, action movie with martial arts fight scenes on the level of a Hong Kong movie, then this is the film for you. What are you waiting for? Go and watch it. Do we have a deal, Mr. Accident Man? All right, fine. Number three, Killer Harkan in John Wick Chapter 4. Uh, John Wick Chapter 4 is probably one of the best action films of modern day times, if not the best action film ever made. It's got to be up there. My character in particular, Killer Harkan, was a very interesting character to play. First of all, the director wanted me to step into a fat suit. He's a bigger, heavier set guy. I wear these prosthetics. We had false gold teeth put in. I created the German accent. Of course, yeah. <laughs> a hell of a lot of fun. And uh, yes, I did enjoy playing the Killer Harkan. <laughs> I miss him. It's not easy to fight in the John Wick. It was an absolute pleasure to work with Keanu Reeves. He's a fantastic screen fighter and martial artist. He put so much into those movies. I, I was fighting in, in the suit. He was getting weighed down heavier and heavier by all this rain. And they had a saying on the set, Wick is pain. And it's not easy creating good action martial arts fights. It's not for the uh, faint hearted, but it's all worth it when you see the end result. I thought we play a game. The winner decides who lives and who does not. So there you go, guys. That was me, Scott Adkins, in three. If you haven't seen any of those films, make sure you check them out.